So Bob, I see that there's uh, been some changes to the belts here. I don't, I don't see the normal poly V uh, or any timing belt mechanism in it. Uh, so it looks like these belts are gonna minimize or actually eliminate particulate uh, as well as track real nice. And actually, when you talk about the tracking, we put a lot of bit of, a lot of work into that. Is these large rollers are crowned, which will help you track, and also your tensioner has a special tensioning system here that not only pulls it but also can pivot it to get them to track perfectly. It's like running a, a slick, Larry. Uh, they got a, a very great belt, being that they're very flexible. We can wrap them around very nice, tight radiuses, very smooth. We shouldn't get any of that bumping. It allows us to get it perfectly parallel. And the tight thickness tolerance as well, right? Oh, they can grind these belts with the thousands. Poly V, you're lucky to be able to grind them within five thousands. Well, even if you could grind a poly V within five thousands, you couldn't actually get them into the machine and get them to set correctly. Correct. Uh, it's next to impossible. And that's why with these belts, as a standard, Novatech's going to uh, send along three different sets of belts. So we'll have at least three or four different coatings, whether it be a white nitrile like this, or a natural rubber, or a black sponge, or even a dual layer belt that we'll be showing you. So this will give, give our processors an opportunity to see which belt works best for their particular process.